Hi friends, my name is Toga. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. Today, we are going to talk about word problems. We will be solving word problems using units of length or how long something is. What are some units we use to measure length? Awesome! We can measure length using inches, centimeters, and feet. Sometimes we need to add when we solve a word problem. Sometimes we need to subtract when we solve a word problem. Let's head out to look at some addition and subtraction word problems. The family in this house had a Christmas tree. They decided they wanted to get a bigger tree. Their old tree was 65 inches long and it was laying down. Their new tree is 95 inches long when it is laying down. Let's figure out how much longer the new tree is than the old tree. Do we need to add the numbers together or subtract the smaller number from the bigger number? Yes, we are going to subtract. Let's figure out the answer. 5 minus 5 is 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. The answer is 30. The new tree is 30 inches longer than the old one. Let's look at another example of a word problem. Here we are in a field. Felix found two sticks. He put the two sticks next to each other in a line. One of the sticks is 33 centimeters long. The second stick is 45 centimeters long. Felix wants to figure out how long the sticks are when put together. Will he add the numbers together or subtract them? Right! He will need to add the numbers together. Let's figure out the answer. 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 plus 4 is 7. The answer is 78. The two sticks together are 78 centimeters. Let's look at one more example of a length word problem. Carla loves to ride her skateboard. Her dad likes to watch her ride. Today, Carla's dad decided to measure how far she can go. The first time she rode her skateboard, she went 25 feet. The second time she rode her skateboard, she went even farther. Her dad told her that she rode 65 feet in all. To figure out how far she rode on her second time, should we add or subtract? You got it! We will need to subtract. We know the first number and we know the answer, but we don't know the second number. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Carla rode 40 feet on her second try. Way to go! Wow! I had so much fun talking about word problems with you. We worked on adding and subtracting using length. Remember, sometimes we add and sometimes we subtract. You might even need to find a missing number. See you next time!